nine hour drive ahead of us. Nick and I are going into a Canada to a fly and fishing lodge. We're going to Lewinberger's Ag Lake Lodge. And this should be an interesting mission. Nick, how many fly ins have you been in with before? Zero. Zero, Zero fly ins. Okay. Yep. How many lake trout have you ever caught before? I've caught a few lake trout. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to be targeting walleyes, northern pike. Lake trout, of which they have pretty big ones of all of the above. Here at the lodge we have five cabins, full running water, flush toilets. Um, if there's a head in every bed, we can hold 40 people. Uh, we have full American plan, so three meals a day, two hot meals, and we'll send you with a lunch. Or modified American plan, which we bring you dinner, you supply your own lunch and breakfast. Or housekeeping plan, which you can make your own schedule, bring your own meals, do your own thing. Uh, Loomberg has also had 16 outpost camps. They've been running outpost camps for close to 60 years now with the flight service. Cag Lake's a very big body of water, has multiple species in it, pike, walleye, lake trout. The Pichuan River that flows out of the lake has brook trout as well. It's a pretty deep body of water for the most part. Uh, some areas out there are close to 140 feet, which is good for the lake trout. Uh, multiple islands, lots of rock reef structures, humps like that, so it's a lot of, a lot of structure to cover in a week. Um, we have a catch and release program, so any walleye 22 inches and over, any pike 27 inches and over, and any lake trout 27 inches and over have to be released. After that, any fish that gets released, um, we've got little white tags in the lodge. People fill one of those out for each fish they catch. And then at the end of the year, we do draw for a free trip to help encourage the catch and release program and big fish make more big fish. And you, you see that every year, that the fish are getting a little bigger and good, good healthy populations of fish. You know, we just got in at uh, Lewinberger's Cag Lake Lodge and the camp manager, Steve Clark, is gonna, came out and was going to run us around the lake, give us a little bit of idea, the layout of the lake, uh, more or less how the fish are, what they've been doing lately. But it was sort of interesting because he came up to this hole in here and he says, this is a really good lake trout hole. And we started driving over the top of it. And when you look at the depth finder, you can see what's in this hole. It has a tremendous amount of forage, but not only forage, but uh, piled up with alternate species. We're just seeing lots of big hooks in here. And the interesting thing is, is in this type of situation, you, you don't really need a lot of complex gear to catch fish. And what we want to share with you is just a couple of ways to how to catch some deep water fish in a Canadian lake. Whoop, there's one. I don't know what he is. It didn't take long. <laughs> the jigging wrap came out. You get in this deep water fishing like this, huh? That was on a uh, fire tiger jigging wrap. I think we got, I don't know what he, we got here. Yeah, no, lake trout, laker. Yeah, laker, look at that. Wow, come here. Look at that guy. He just crunched on it. Whoa, whoa. I think he's, he decided he's got, whoop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> I was like, wow, wait a second. Wow. And I tell you one thing, I haven't caught open water lake trout like this for a while and I forgot how how tough they are. <laughs> They're a workout on, on walleye gear like this. They're a tough boy. They're tough hombres. They are. Come here, buddy. There we go. Oop, boy, there now he's coming up fast. There he is, there. Oh, yeah, there you can just, you want to just leave him in the wa water and, uh, gr yeah, grab the players if you can get him out of there. Catch a variety of different species. You got walleyes, big pike, and famed. 
lake trout. Boy, are they beautiful. Look at the colors on that thing. We'll get her back in the water. Beautiful animal though. Come on, buddy. Look at that thing. Whoa. Back down she goes. Thank you, sir. Not a problem. For vertical fishing like this, there's a variety of uh, different baits that work really efficient for that because obviously we're trying to, uh, primarily what we're doing is sight fishing with our electronics. We're not really dropping anywhere where we don't see fish. Steve has been just simply just moving over the tops of the fish and when we see a big school of them, we drop to that approximately that depth level. But the jigging wrap is a really highly efficient bait for that because it drops really quickly. But you can use jigs as well with soft plastics are pretty efficient too. The thing is, is those, those real high ones, those are the ones that are feeding. You notice that we see in a lot of uh, fish that are big, you know, big fish down, really down deep in the water column. And most of the time in these really deep water basins, when those fish are really active, they'll actually come up pretty high in the water column. It's surprising on how high you can actually catch them. Well, that, what, everything we've caught has been 25 feet or approximately, so yeah, it makes sense. We haven't caught any of those deep ones yet. Where was he at? See, a new, po new pod. Bottom. Bottom? Right on bottom. Oh, you were right on bottom. Yeah. So you want your little buddy to get a gnat for this affair? Yeah. Wow, that's a nice look fish. at that, that's a pretty fish. Wow, look at that thing, I can't believe it. Is she gonna come right to that nice oh, Wow. That's all right, wow. she even cooperated. I can't believe it. You were really manhandled that one, didn't you? <laughs> so on, my, on my wallet here as well. What's that is it? <laughs> oh, wow, he, he really, he came up off the bottom? Yeah, right off the bottom. Okay, go. Look at that thing. Boy, he's our little fat, so. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Yep. Real nice fish. Get that line clear. Yep. Oh. Huh. That no, thing's lake nice. trout. Yeah, not the longest fish, but that's a, whew. Oh, come, here. come on, buddy, get back down. Get her back down quick. Come here. Yeah. It's really the kind of lake where you could really go on a multi-species adventure. It's hard to just stick to one. To me it is, I, I, like bouncing, I like bouncing around, fishing for pike for a little bit, fishing for the lake trout, fishing for the walleyes intermittently throughout the day. Right? Intermittently through the day, experimenting, you know, you get into a good area, you know, especially because this is a pretty good sized body of water and there's so much uh, just water to explore. And that's one of the funnest things to come up on an adventure like this, is actually exploring new water, figuring out new, techniques and new locations to catch fish. Oh, oh, I got one. Wow. That's a big one. I got a big one on. Now, did you hook him down in the bottom? Yeah. Here. No, forget about that. Pick up this other line. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's a real boy there. <laughs> Gorilla. Holy mackerel. Whew. Could be a good one. Oh. Hope he's hooked good. Oh yeah, that's one thing with Knock. blade being up. Knock on wood. Just got his head up. I got, he came up about 10 feet. <laughs> that's yeah. right. It's a... Ooh. Yeah. That's a nice fish. Oh yeah. <laughs> what? What do you think about him? There we I go. Like <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Nice. Cag Lake, smoking. I'm not kidding you. Look at the size of this guy here. What a Holy beautiful cow. fish. Wow. Come here. Look at that. Watch it, Nick. Watch it just out of there. There we go. Ooh, look at that. Thing nice there. fish. They're tough. <laughs> yeah, they're tough. We'll get her back down. Down. Let's get her into the water.